Good morning, cultists. In our previous episode, we took the settlement of Skeggy from the Skeggy themselves, and now we kind of have them on the run. Ish? Maybe. Though... You're a pretender. Losterixen, the Cull, the same guy that we fought before, destroyed Titan Peak. And my friends here are not doing a fantastic job of chasing them down. If you could please focus on destroying this guy, that would be great, because otherwise he's going to do a lot of damage in our territory here, which is obviously a big no-no. You better not take Titan Peak for yourself, bud. The Witch right? King welcomes you. Though, if they do, I can just confederate them, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Can I actually trade with any of these guys? I'm assuming not. Or maybe we can actually trade with them. But hmm. Oh wow, that's surprising. Very surprising, as a matter of fact. Every skull hey, Lokir Felhard, you're still alive. You oh, come on, Lokir, don't Upon be like that. Can we at least get a non-aggression pact? It shall be done. Fantastic. Bring and be wait, now can help. we get a trade agreement? Stop talking! Lokir, I get it, you've got a cool helmet. Just shut the fuck up! My god, this guy just can't stop his jibber-jabber. Shit, he used to play video games and post the footage online on YouTube. Make a killing off that shit. <laughs> Alright, uh, otherwise I think we're decent. I could have sworn I was making more money last turn. How come I'm making less now? Because I thought I was making 9,000 at one point or another. Hmm. It could just be my memory, because I don't think I've actually recruited anyone, have I? It's not their rating, I'm sure. They're rating me for four buckaronis a turn in Port Reaver, which is <laughs> really stupid. But hey, this guy wants to uh, fall on a sword like that, then who might I argue? I should look into if it's possible... Um... What is oh, it Noctilus. Okay, yeah, you know what? I don't want to tussle with you, Noctilus. I don't want to tussle with you. I've got a soft uh, soft spot for you, so... Sure, we'll get that uh, non-aggression pact. And maybe you'd like to do some, um, uh, some trading, too. Wait. What if I take... their uh, sacred capital? What's it called again? The Galleon's Graveyard? Hmm... Might be worth looking into. Possibly. Alright, so... Wait... I can't retreat? I'm not fighting this battle! Oh... Okay! Well... That was a decidedly... Bullshit encounter? Right... So, what happens when he's back to fighting form? Does he just come back, or do I have to make another sacrifice to Mathlan? Huh. That sucks. Hag Shit. Alright, Vanthus. Why don't you take the uh, Swamp Town? Oh, he took a lot more casualties than I expected. Hmm. Maybe I should have got more ethic to help out. But that's fine. Mother of the okay, so let's get in position to attack uh, Hexwaddle in our next turn. And Sabioth, in the meantime, why don't you go assault his units and all that crap? Attaboy. Almost level 30. Holy crap, holy. Not a chance. Uh, mm, I wonder if we get any unique uh, buildings from Hexwaddle. Hopefully. Uh, sure. Oh, right, because we've secured the entire region. Gotcha. Uh, since we don't need to worry about corruption and all that stuff... Wait. So if we move our characters out... It's gonna be a pretty hefty cut to our... Public order, isn't it? Destructive, okay, this one. that's fine. Useful. Banthus? Should we get you Lightning Strike? Possibly. 
Hmm. Or should we get you the name of power? Huh. I'm thinking... Corvanthus. Let's give him uh, this stuff. So maybe we should get you the martial name of power. Or at least see what it's like. Yeah, let's do it. Let's get the martial name of power. Oh, okay. I was like, wait, what's happening? <laughs> Uh, name of power, the Hydra, Vanthus von Karstein. A routine hunt turned to drama when a beast of legend, the Hydra, was awoken. In a battle for the ages, you defeated the beast after fighting all day and the following night too. Defeated, quote-unquote. Of course, defeated in the bedroom. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Now, however, the monster is vanquished, as in fully sexually satisfied. How best to celebrate your victory? So it can be known as Soul Blaze, which increases your armor, fire resistance, and enables flaming attacks. Or Hydra Blood, which gives you genera regeneration. Drink its blood. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Hmm. Or wallow in its bile. Flaming attack sounds awesome, but regeneration... Hmm. I don't know, actually. Regeneration is nice, but... Armor, fire resistance, flaming attacks. This seems more of a defense thing. This seems more of a, um... A, uh... What's it? An offensive thing. But, considering it's Vanthus, let's go for Hydra Blood. I think that's more appropriate for Vanthus. Vanthus the Hydra Blood. Fantastic. So that's how it works. Interesting. Did cruel and dead. Did Morathi just Winnie? <laughs> I refuse to uh, think that it's actually her uh, mouth that's whinnying. It's um. Dark and what are you guys doing here? Hey, we have a non-aggression pact. Welcome Don't try anything. All right. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Admiral, the Kraken Lord cometh. You I am oh come on, dude. Let's get that non-aggression pact. Or has it not been the uh, turn yet? This might actually be the same turn when I uh, tried that the last time. Oops. Mm. Alright, so we may... I don't know what level the um, Corruption Malice will get to. But it's... I think it might be possible to get the Rebellion going here. Doubtful, but... So there's definitely going to be a Rebellion next turn at the Keshta Vault. Hopefully Grayscale Leo isn't going to be caught in the Crossfires. Or the Crossfire Singular. Hmm. No other unique buildings here. Gotcha. Man, I hate that they destroyed this place. Fucking assholes. Alright. Well, we're gonna need that growth once we uh, get that settlement back, so we might as well get that started, I guess. Sure. Okay. I watch from the shadows. Next turn, we'll destroy Hexwaddle. Hopefully. Any... Oh, I guess we won't see the Rebellion until it's their turn, right? Now, I don't think they've got any lords that are close to Akeshta's... Akesha, Akesha's vault. To, um... Offset the rebellion. So, hopefully, we'll be able to secure that uh, region next turn. I Trace and Nagareth have declared a what war on each other? It's, no, I'm not going to join you for uh, your war on Clan Septic. You seem to be doing decently as it is. Oh, looks like our allies are maybe potentially actually mobilizing against the Skeggy? Could it be? Speaking of the Skeggy, what are these guys doing? Not to... Quite, oh, it hasn't been their turn yet. Oh, fuck. Uh... Wait, what the fuck was that? What? What? What did they do here? Oh, I think they upgraded their building or something at the last second. Um... Yeah, we're gonna need some help, if you guys don't mind. 
we really need you to take care of this asshole. Like, seriously, I don't know how to urge that more. Please focus on destroying them. So, what? The Skaven came out of nowhere... ...to... No, oh, Skaven Rebellion. Fear the dark. So you're telling me that the Skaven Rebellion actually just completely annihilated them. Guide us, Kay. To the That's incredible. Slaughter. That is absolutely Ambition incredible. Rises. Wait, how are they still alive? Whoa, okay. I am uh, can you go ahead and assault the garrison, please? Fantastic. A terror to their enemies. Let's get you to finish off elusive. And Vanthus, why don't you? None I'm gonna take Hexawaddle. Draw your blade. Atta boy. You lost one person. Poor dude. What you don't take. You don't sack it, right? I mean, there's no point. Hmm. Take everything. Yeah, let's just occupy it. That's fine. That's great. Mean what? Don't be like that, Vanthus. Finish this this guy off. Perfect. Okay, so if we want to complete our collection of this um, province, we have to take Monolith of the Fallen Gods and the Ziggurat of Dawn, both of which most definitely belong to uh, Clan Pestilens. Right? Sorry, Clan Fester. Is Pestilens one of the uh, important ones? I forget. Clan No, I don't think we have any issues with at all. As a matter of fact, we could even get a military alliance with them if you want to. Oh, they're at war with the Skeggy as well. Interesting. Well, we'll get a trade agreement with them. Thanks. Just because we can. Hmm. I will hear you, Elfkin, but I will not oh, come on. You know it would benefit both of us. What do I gotta do? If you must, but my storm. I'm good, thanks. Yeah, I, I, I'd rather not chitter chat with you. Yeah, thanks, bud. Hmm. Because if we go to war with the with Clan Fester and we don't wipe them out, then there's a very good chance that they'll retaliate. Stella Pyramid of the Southern Skies. Whoa! Research rate 12%. Winds of Magic Power Reserve 10 for all armies. Lord Recruitment Rank Faction Wide. Whoa! Gold Mine! Hmm. I wonder if we should be sending slaves here then. But probably not. Alright, so the corruption here isn't exactly great at all. But thankfully, due to our vault of uh, whatchamacallit that we upgraded to the max, we're not uh, seeing that much of a malice to our public order due to the lack the of corruption. So the Skaven corruption is now leeching in. And the... Alright, so we're going to need to jack up the uh, corruption here. Uh, stat. Shit. Hate Who knew that the Skeggy had such a... Good, I guess, balance or hold on their um, chaotic corruption and all that crap. Uh, I suppose we'll get you Lightning Strike just in case we need it. I kind of doubt it. Destructive, this one. Shakira. Useful. You've gotten replenished troops and uh, spread corruption. Let's get you to get some more melee defense. Yeah. Who else needs level up? Marathi. All right, no so we'll get you Soul Stealer. I don't think we need to get Spiteful Conjuration or Arcane Conduit. Definitely a no on smoke and mirrors. Probably? Hmm. I mean, I guess we do a lot of casting with her, but... Nah, I don't think that's quite as useful. Maybe Melkoth's uh, Mystifying Miasma upgrade. But I kind of want to get her. Is it a good idea to get her this? Because she's not really meant to be a... Hmm... Maybe? I mean... She's not really meant to be a frontline combatant, so... Maybe we should just be going for something like this instead. I mean, I guess you can always give it a try and then respect her if um, if things don't work out. What now? 
I am the first sorceress. So I'm really not sure what to do with a uh, clan fester. How many settlements do they have again? Still 11, right? Oh, they're down to Machines 10. And what happened to you guys that you're down to 10? Mm. Okay, so I'm assuming all these places are Skaven, um, infested with Skaven. Sabioth is unfortunately not able to do any kind of exploration right now. Grayscale will keep you there. Oh shit, Marathi is leveled up again? Huh. Alright, um... Now we have to uh, wonder if perhaps... Or should we go for a Quartermaster to reduce her unit upkeep? Okay, so if I get her this, speed, charge bonus, speed's not bad. Having some extra speed would be kind of helpful-ish. Maybe some extra health? Enchanting beauty. A thousand and one dark blessings. Magic resistance and physical resistance, not bad. Her melee attacks, decent. Melee defense. Is it worth it? I might need to do some more research. Maybe for now we'll leave her uh, unskilled. Alright, there we go. Get that up to level 3. Get that jacked up a bit more. Get some more growth. Sweet. Wait. Oh, sorry. I, I did uh, commission that, didn't I? I was like, I thought we had another cultist gathering building there, but we don't. Oh, no, it's uh, Marathi. We don't want to uh, level her up just yet. Okay. So hopefully my ally is actually mobilizing towards the Skeggy. Um, if not, we may need to forget about the Skaven for the time being and just book it up north. So since we don't, we're not aware that the uh, Skaven are in um, those settlements, I'm assuming we don't need to worry about potentially trespassing through their territory. What was that? You move, you move like less than a fucking meter, and then you're done. Enter and speak, for time is a luxury. Oh God. Oh, okay. Thank God. I thought they were trying to attack me. Good grief. So I've noticed that um, the blue vipers are also at war with uh, Clan Fester. Ah, oh, thank goodness. I was legitimately terrified that they might try to attack me again. Good for you guys. But if they're also at war with Clan Fester, how do they rank in comparison to Clan Fester? So the blue vipers are rank nine. Clan Fester is twenty-nine. Warlock of Skaven Blight. Okay. Let's deal with the Skeggy first. All right. And then we might come back to take care of the um, Skaven here. But once I start moving people... I'm kind of wondering if maybe we should just leave Vanthus here for the time being. Dreadlord of Nagarok. Just to, you know, secure these locations. Because that's... That corruption is plummeting. Madness <sighs> fills the air. Okay. Fuck. Black it's unfortunate, but... Okay. I've made my decision. Marathi, you go by yourself. Hopefully that'll be enough to take care of the Skeggy. If not, then... Um, sucks for us, right? Oh, right, that's Marathi. We don't need to worry about her uh, skill right now. Sabioth. Let's just confirm what we already know. Oh, that's Clan Gnaw! Oh, no! Chotex Causeway, Fallen Gates, and Mirror Pool of Tepok. Kinda hoping we could take Mirror Pool of Tepok. Wait, how many settlements does Clan Na have? I don't really want to betray them though. Make, make kill things. Is is that a I'm sorry, is that a, an order from McDonald's? Make make kill things? Holy shit, that sounds incredible. Make kill things. So is it like a, a happy meal, but instead enemies. of like getting a toy, you you put it in someone's name and then um Ronald McDonald, of course, they 
the world famous um uh what was it hitman pops out of the box and then uh finds your target and uh, kills him for you that sounds incredible holy shit i would definitely love to uh get a mc, mc kill things let's get you i think maybe getting her to cause fear might be a good idea Weapon strength and melee attacks nice, but yeah, let's get you that. Cry of war. Fantastic. Hmm. We don't have any other heroes here right now, so I guess Sabioth is just going to have to find out whether or not Monolith of, of the Fallen Gods belongs to Clan Fester or Clan Na. Are you guys upset at the fact that I use my hero action against you that's bullshit that's just that's what? garbage that shouldn't be a thing because all i did was just like use my hero to find out your location it's not like i plotted something against you or it's not like i loaded up your bidet with like fucking acid or some shit man get over yourself it's gonna cost 1100 uh, buckaronis or 11,000 buckaronis mm. Should we be spreading more corruption to the adjacent territories? Possibly. Okay, that's still going up. That's great. And, ah, there we go. Finally, we got that stupid-ass uh, rebellion going. Great. Alright, what about this location? Yeah, let's go for Dark Elf Manor. Get some more growth. That's good. Meantime, I guess we'll get that going because we're going to need that eventually anyways. Grayscale, you can just chill out for now. So next turn, I think, possibly, considering that it's unguarded, the um, Chaos Rebellion may attack Keisha's vault. If not, then... They might just, I guess... Whoa, that's a surprise. Terranok have been destroyed. Wait, how long did it take for your me to destroy Terranok in our um so make known your in our previous campaign? A military alliance with you guys. The fact that you're currently at war with um Nagrond and whatnot makes me want to say no, but we'll go for it. That may have been a grand mistake, but we should be fine, I hope. Right, so Skeggy, I'm assuming you're just gonna go back into Sulfurets, right? Because that seems to be where you're headed. Oh! Oh, you've destroyed my allies! That? Always seek more power! I. Okay. I Fantastic! Would, yes. Not gonna lie, I wasn't really expecting that, but sure. Uh, let's get you to spread some more public order. That's great. And steadily going up. I'm hoping we can see a the rebellion destroy that uh, place in our next turn. But there's a good chance it's not going to happen. Let's not worry about the um, dragon hatchery right now. Because I think it's going to be more than five turns before um, Marathi gets into that location. So getting close, but you don't need to destroy them. Or, I mean, you can't anyway, so it's fine. Risky Leo hasn't moved. That's okay as well. Sabioth. Uh, find out who lives in Maku Peaks. Clan Naw. I thought for sure this is all just going to be a Clan Fester's territory. Hmm. Interesting. Sabioth, let's get you weapon strength or shroud of darkness and get you more speed and all that crap. Yeah, you know what? Let's go for shroud of darkness. Sweet. And Marathi's the only one that needs a leveling up, which I will not cater to right Benevolent now. Lord. Hmm. If we get Vanthus out of this. Well, there's that rebellion that's happening here. Yes. We get you out now. And then if you do raiding. raiding it's gonna take far too long. Twenty turns. Oh Hell no. Goodness. Maybe we do that around here. The capital is of course Skeggy, so that's where the rebellion will take Lord place. The Black hmm. 
So if Vanthus weren't here, you would see a negative 7 instead of a 5. Or instead of a negative 2. Right. Here, I guess we can just get rid of the commandment and try to get the rebellion to spawn again. Hmm. Okay. Let's do that then. Let's try to get another rebellion to spawn. You might as well do that in the, yeah, while we're waiting and all that crap. And that's gonna happen in 20 turns, regardless of whether or not that this is there, so... Or, I mean... That doesn't, didn't make any sense. You know what? It's, it's fine. It's just verbal diarrhea. Don't worry about it. Mm. I'm hoping we don't have to tussle with the High Elves. I'm really hoping that they just kind of stick to their... Um, uh, elven butthole, the uh, the elven donut slash um, anal sphincter of Ulthwan. Though, will if I do take the settlement of Lothurn, no, I'm not gonna do that. Listen, I hate Aleth Anar as much as any any person should, which is a lot. But I'd rather not get into more tussles than I need to. Not whilst I'm still trying to destroy the uh, Skeggy. Yes. What do you bring? What the fuck is wrong with you? What the hell? Freebooters of Port Royale? What are those assholes doing here? All right. For the Druki. To arms, Druki. Fuck it. Or should we just do it? Give them a proper proper death for the witch king you know what let's do it let's do a manual fight and end them once and for all because they have bothered me greatly okay so it seems that they've got two werewolf heroes um and a whole bunch of uh marauder champions some dudes in uh in uh in their paja leather pajamas throwing um toothpicks sounds good to me sounds like a kinky time, which I definitely support. Uh, I guess that'll be fine. Alright. Shakira, oh, sorry, Marathi, Shakira. Mm, shades. And we'll just get you guys. Oh, sorry. That's not what I meant to do. Oh, that's not what I meant to do either. Good grief. What am I doing? We are ready. <laughs> there we go. And we're not expecting any reinforcements, so I guess we're fine as is. Uh, now the question is... I think let's try to get set up on this hill here. Yeah, we'll do that. Melee. Back there. Center everyone properly. Except if we have them like this, we can't really... Wait, is there penalty to fighting inside the water or no? Because what we could do instead is something like this. And you guys can be in the front. Oh, no, what am I doing? Right. That way our... Uh, flankers can be hidden away. Yeah, we'll do that instead. Sure. Harpies. Not that it really matters. I'm pretty sure... Oh, wait, no, they've got the uh, dudes in pajamas throwing uh, toothpicks, right? Okay, so I guess we're fine there. Mm, let's get you guys forward a little bit. So that way we can at least hit their front ranks with our uh, dudes here, right? There we go. There we go. They're actually within range, too. Oh, fuck. I forgot to move our uh, heroes. <laughs> I've done it again. I have done it again. Oh. Shit, that's a big boy. Holy crap. Stupid fucking dude in his stupid fucking chariot. Stupid fucker. Mm. Oh, they are moving fast. Holy shit, like a bat out of hell. Damn. That's a lot of fucking dudes. Alright, Marathi. Maybe just try to slow them up. Oh, wait, we can do the uh, Pit of Shades, right? Increased armor piercing damage. 
I don't know how long it takes to cast, but let's put it there. All right, here we go. In two seconds. And... Ah. Oh, the infamous space vagina. I love it. Fantastic. And now they're throwing axes at me like a bunch of assholes. Hidden units revealed. That's fine. And we are letting loose the juice. All right, why don't you guys... Maybe harass some of these assholes from the back or something? And we'll try Soul Sealer soon. Uh, blue 10. Let's get that going. And once these guys are- Oh, shit, what am I doing? What am I doing? You need to, uh, move forward, guys. Sorry, I completely, uh... I completely buggered that up, didn't I? Yes, I did. Yes, I fucking did. Uh, Marauder Hunters. I guess, go after them. Give it a try at least. And... Let's come with that, get some of that sweet, sweet, uh... Morale reduction there. Fantastic. Alright, so far our Dread Spears are taking a bit of a hit. And I think their hero is now booking it, which is pretty fantastic. Get some more damage on that asshole. And I think we're gonna need to do a little Power of Darkness action. I forget if it makes a difference whether or not you cast it on yourself or someone else. Oh well. That's fine. Nice. They are being completely torn asunder. Though I'm probably taking a lot more uh, damage than they should be. There you go. Nice, nice. Oh shit. Can you, uh, help out our Eagle Claw Bolt Throwers here with some melee action? Ah, uh, that poor one guy. Oh, fuck. I forgot to have our... <laughs> I forgot to have our uh, Pitmobile do shit. All right, Shakira, why don't you go for it, lady? Fury of Cain that shit up. Maybe on Puten? What does that do again? Oh, it makes him rampage. Uh-oh. That's not good. Not that it really matters at this point, but, you know... Can you guys actually hit those dudes up? And we're done. Fantastic. Alright, let's not even give them chase. It's fine. Fucking skeggy, you don't deserve my attention. Lost Ericsson? Or is it Lost Ericsson? Maybe it's Lost Ericsson. Oh, interesting. So I guess at some point, uh, Eric's son got lost. And then, um, couldn't find his way back. Turned into a grungy asshole with uh with tremendous body odor the kind of body odor that for has its own um a gravitational force that essentially acts as a uh, planet mm, sack that shit because i don't want to take it for myself right yeah that's sulfuret maybe we should just raise it Hmm. Take everything. Leave nothing. Or maybe we should sack it, and then occupy Leave no it. Trinket behind. Yeah, you know Fly, what? Hatred. I guess we might as well just sack it and take it. Mother of the. Because I do plan on um, confederating the Silvertor. So if we do that, then we're gonna need uh, Great Rock Point and Sulfurites anyway. So that makes sense. Fuck you, Skeggy. Fuck you. Next turn, we'll take um, Titan Peak, and all will be well again. Great, so now we have to decide on whether or not we want to go to war with Clan Gnaw and uh, Clan Vester and all that shit. I don't know, we'll see. I'm hoping we don't have to, but we may need to if we want to um, secure our southern uh, border. Not that I think Clan Gnaw will ever betray me. <laughs> Funny thing to say about a Skaven, but we'll see. Alright, so for now, thanks for watching and have a good breakfast!